Good day guys, welcome to another video and today I just want to talk about having the wrong motivation. This is, uh, in this video I'm going to share my experience learning Portuguese and how I believe that having the wrong motivation, and again the wrong motivation might be different for you, might be different for other people, but again let's get into my story. So when I started learning Portuguese, as you heard in other videos, I used Duolingo and I just learned Portuguese because I said, okay, look, I speak Spanish, I speak English, and Portuguese is very close to Spanish, very similar. So why not? Let's learn Portuguese. That way I can say I speak three languages. I know, I know, ego, come back. But then, okay, I started learning Portuguese. I wasn't very motivated. I mean, clearly just Duolingo didn't help. And I, I mean, there are many things that I didn't do to make it more interesting, so that was again my fault and I stopped completely learning Duolingo, uh, learning Duolingo, learning Portuguese. Then I moved into German, same thing happened and then I started with Japanese and that really got me into the world of language learning. So going back to Portuguese, um, it would have been maybe around two years ago when I started meeting Brazilian students in class uh, and uh, Portuguese students too and that really got me thinking because when I met them it was a completely different experience than just learning Portuguese just to have a third language it was more I'm interested in Brazil I'm interested in Portugal I'm interested in the culture I want to uh, know more about these people where they're from um, and interestingly most of them spoke really good Spanish and that that was again another push like I want to learn about their culture I want to talk to them in their language these guys already know my language and, and I can barely say one or two phrases. I can say I eat apple, I am a man and I drink milk. So again, I know you can learn more with Duolingo, but again, staying on the story. And then just having that motivation was a completely different set point. And mixing something that I've talked about before um, is, or this is actually something that I tell my students, is to listen to something that you enjoy even if you don't understand everything. That was another big motivation because I started using my bicycle to go to work, to exercise, and I would put bicycle videos, or let's say videos related to bicycles in Portuguese. And while I didn't understand everything, it gave me, again, more exposure, more listening, and it made it a lot more interesting. And then again, having that shift from, now I'm just gonna learn to talk to these people, to learn a lot more, was a completely different approach to, oh, I'm just gonna learn just to learn, just because it's similar to Spanish, just because it's a bit easier than other ones. And with that, I'll leave you. Pick something that really pushes you to learn, to improve in the language. That's gonna make it a lot easier for you. And most importantly, you have to enjoy the process. If you don't, then it's better to stop and look for another language or change your approach to different things so that everything works better for you. Well, I hope you liked the video, I hope you're enjoying the series, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one, bye for now.